Hello Sagittarius, this is your reading for June 2019. I know I'm late guys, but I am here for you now. Alright, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and we will get this thing crack a lacking. Alright, let's see. Sagittarius, what love messages do we have for Sagittarius? What's going on around my Sagittarius friends? The hanged man. I feel like this is a stuck situation with you guys here. There's something um, I feel like that that is up in the air with you and someone else. This is a Piscean card here with the hanged man. Sorry guys. <clears throat> Move that out the way and turn my volume down. Sorry. Um, but this is a stuck situation. I feel like both of you are like in your separate corners and um, basically waiting on the other person to make a move is what I'm getting here. Let me show my cards are up right. <clears throat> Let's see what's crossing you guys here. The Six of Wands, Leo energy. Wanting to be noticed by others. Wanting to be successful. You know, maybe the situation is stuck because um, you guys are not on the same page. One of you wants to be exclusive, but the other person um, is wanting to date. Is wanting attention from other people, not just you. Uh, and of course, this can go vice versa. But I'm feeling this sense that you guys are not on the same page here. Okay. Let's see what the underlying issue is here for you guys. Six of Pentacles. There it is. Um, the, the issue here is that somebody is not being exclusive. They are sharing their time with someone else, or at least that's the way one of you feels because, again, this energy can go vice versa. But I am reading for you guys. So this is feeling like um, you're not getting all the time that you need or want, that this person is basically spreading themselves thin. Um, that is the issue here. I see that you are wanting the time, you're wanting the effort to be put in. If they, this person wants to be with you, you're feeling like um, you need to show me, okay? Because if you can't, you can't give me everything I need if you are also giving to someone else. And that is the issue here. Let's see in the recent past. Oh, the devil. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is a very toxic situation that you find yourselves in, guys. Capricorn energy here. Um, there probably was a lot of arguing. But for some reason, you guys feel like you cannot escape this person. No matter how much you try to let go, it's like you can't. You feel like you can't. You feel tied to this person, this situation. You also feel like this situation is not going to progress. It's not going to get better. At the same time, you're having a hard time letting it go. Um, hmm. And maybe it does involve like a lot of drinking and partying, um, just maybe going on dating sites or even porn sites for some of you is what I'm seeing here, okay? <clears throat> Let's see. Your crowning thoughts here. The Queen of Swords. You're thinking about separating. You just want to know the truth. You want to know what what is the best thing to do in this situation okay that's all you want to know and then you can separate it's like you want to be able to put your finger on exactly what is going on here so you can separate and go your own way 
-hmm. Because even even though I feel like you guys are physically separated, I feel like you're still very attached to this person. Very, very attached to this person. And I feel that this person feels the same way. You guys kind of feel like you're tied to each other. They can't stop thinking about you. You can't stop thinking about them. Hmm. So what that tells me is that um, this person definitely is thinking about you. And there is more to how they feel about you guys than you think. Okay. What's coming in for my Sagittarius? Four of Wands, stability, relationship. Okay. Some of you may be moving homes. Um, but I, I'm getting that there is somebody coming in for you. Could be somebody new. Or either this is a new take, a new, uh, a refreshed look <clears throat> into this situation. Somebody coming out of stasis, wanting to come out of conflict, wanting to be successful with you guys. Right now the situation's stuck, but I do see movement here. Whether it's with this person that you're thinking about, or whether you guys end up meeting somebody new, could be an Aries individual. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. All right. How you guys are seeing this situation is the strength. Hmm. You fought, I feel, to really detach yourself from this situation because I think you, you feel like it's not good for you. You feel like it's not good for you. I feel a lot of you guys are ready to separate here. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is a new person coming in. That's going to bring a lot of um, energy. A lot of um, passion, I feel, to your life. Hmm. And I do feel that a lot of you are taking some time to yourselves because you really do want to detach from a situation that you feel like you're not getting what you deserve out of anyway. Even though you feel this strong attachment to this person, it's like you feel like it's not good for you. You see yourself leaving it, being strong enough to say, hey, you know what, you got to fight this. This person's not good for me. Hmm. What is the influence for Sagittarius? Leo is strong here as well. Fire energy. Look at that. King of Wands energy right here. Looking at this Four of Wands. There's definitely, I feel, <clears throat> you guys are really wanting a connection. And I feel like there is somebody that is very interested in you guys here very interested in you guys here. Hmm. That's what you're looking for. That's what your influence is. Your influence, I'm feeling like you know exactly what you deserve. You know exactly what you want. And I'm thinking that for some of you, this is a person that you have already encountered. Or either you're going to encounter this person, but I'm feeling strongly that this is somebody you've already encountered. Um, that things are going to progress with. And definitely could be an Aries or a Leo like yourselves. Fire sign. Energy is here. Strong. And I feel like it's you, but I also feel like there's another fire energy for some of you. Hmm. Fire and fire. All right, now let's see. <clears throat> the hopes or fears. Oh, I flipped over two cards. Huh. You know, 
we have the nine of wands and the ace of wands here this is very sexual energy i feel that you your hope it's like your hope and your fears here your fear is that you will be able to open up you will be able to receive the good things that are coming your way that you deserve that you won't be so closed off but you also don't want a situation or a relationship that is strictly based on sex because you know that that is not the basis of a relationship for real um, and, and I feel like this this devil energy over here there there's something that somebody was doing I feel like as far as porn as far as dating apps something for some of you that you know was a big no-no for you it was a deal breaker and so you don't want to encounter somebody that's like all about sexual attraction you want to have a mental connection with them as well an emotional connection with this person whoever this is um, a lot of fire here okay now keep in mind that this energy can go vice versa so you guys know your own separate situations so use your discernment let's see what the overall is for you guys the five of swords huh you know I feel like you guys are very on point for the month of June and not saying that you're not on point any other time but I feel like for some reason this month is you know it provides the most clarity for you because you will not make rash decisions one way or the other whether it's you know about the person that you feel so attached to or about the new person coming in um, you will see things clearly and you will fight to see things clearly okay you're not just going to let attraction just take over you you want something more substantial you want you want reciprocity in every way mentally physically emotionally and I do see that for you guys coming in okay so we have Gemini Libra Aquarius we have Aries Leo energy here could be another Sagittarius like you guys we have Pisces Capricorn and Taurus energy guys okay so that is what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon bye now